Do you know one of the biggest differences between EVs and ICE cars? For a moment, we thought that upgrading or improving a gas-powered car was simply about adding better tech, features, or design. But EVs are a whole different story. You're not just upgrading the car, you also have to upgrade the battery, and that changes everything. That's why EV batteries are constantly being researched to find better, more affordable solutions. Tesla, for example, took three years from announcement to production of their 4680 battery, considered the most advanced EV battery technology in the world so far. But Tesla's top rival isn't sitting still. BYD is set to launch a new EV this June, featuring a groundbreaking battery that can fully charge in just five minutes. Even more impressively, BYD claims this battery will redefine EV safety standards. It's passed extreme stress tests like being crushed, bent, baked at 300 degrees Celsius, and overcharged by 260%, and in none of those cases did it catch fire or explode. Oh my god, so what kind of battery is this, and how will it stack up against Tesla's 4680? Let's find out now. Tesla has never been in second place when it comes to electric vehicles, but clearly, over the past year, BYD has pulled ahead in terms of sales. In 2024, BYD reported $107 billion in revenue, and they sold 4.27 million vehicles, including both fully electric and hybrid models. In comparison, Tesla generated $97.7 billion in revenue, with 1.79 million vehicles sold in the same year. Yeah, BYD is outperforming Tesla in several key areas, and it's something we have to acknowledge. In our opinion, BYD's next-gen Blade battery could very well spark a new wave of excitement when it gets rolled out in the company's upcoming EV launch this June. You might have already heard of BYD's Blade battery, even Tesla has used it in some Model Y Europe versions. The Blade battery is essentially a specially designed lithium-iron phosphate battery built for EVs. It's known for its high safety standards, stable performance, and long lifespan. First launched in 2020, it's now installed in most BYD models and has been thoroughly tested in real-world conditions. The name Blade Battery is pretty straightforward. The battery cells are shaped like blades, hence the name. It uses a cell-to-pack design with no traditional modules, meaning the cells are integrated directly into the battery pack. This significantly increases space utilization, reduces weight and thickness, and makes the battery lighter, slimmer, and longer lasting, all while freeing up more cabin space for passengers. On top of all that, it delivers solid safety and excellent thermal management performance. However, it can be said that the old version of the BYD Blade battery did not really have anything outstanding to impress, even somewhat bland when the energy density only reached 140 watt-hours per kilogram with a charging time of up to 20 to 30 minutes. So today, we want to talk about the latest generation of the Blade battery. The latest version of the Blade battery has really reached a new level to make us believe that charging an electric car battery as fast as we fill up gasoline is possible. Of course, it has been tested on electric cars instead of simply doing research in the laboratory. Initial tests show that BYD's battery can provide up to 30% higher energy efficiency than existing models, which means the car can travel further and consume significantly less electricity. The energy density of the second-generation Blade battery is expected to reach 190 watt-hours per kilogram, higher than the 140 watt-hours per kilogram of the old model, according to the report. Here's the thing, this isn't just your typical battery upgrade. BYD's engineers have completely re-engineered the chemistry and design of the battery to enable faster charging, longer range, greater durability, all while keeping costs as low as possible. And the most surprising part, this new battery will first be used in two of BYD's upcoming models, priced at just $37,260 and $38,600. Yeah. You heard that right. These EVs will be cheaper than Tesla's Model 3, which is currently Tesla's most affordable car. At first, we assumed this kind of breakthrough technology would be incredibly expensive, something BYD would reserve for high-end luxury models or ultra-premium SUVs costing over $100,000. That would have made sense. But at this price point, we were honestly shocked. The first vehicles with super-fast charging technology will be the Hanel sedan, and Tang L SUV. 
these two new models will have up to 1,086 horsepower. While this isn't particularly remarkable in the high-performance car world, at a price of $37,000 for a luxury vehicle, whether SUV or sedan, it's pretty insane. BYD's founder Wang Chuanfu stated that the second-generation Blade battery has a smaller battery pack, lighter weight, and lower energy consumption per 100 kilometers with the same battery usage time. This means the second-generation Blade battery not only improves energy density, but also optimizes volume, weight, and energy consumption of the battery pack. To make it easier to understand, BYD mentioned that their latest battery has been tested in vehicles, showing results where it can charge fast enough to add 470 kilometers or 292 miles of range in just five minutes. BYD even stated that the top models will be able to handle 1 megawatt, 10C, or 1,000 kilowatts of power, allowing the company to completely eliminate users' concerns about battery charging. With speeds reaching up to 1 megawatt, this means the new cars will charge at lightning speed, truly living up to the hype. The 10C rating means it can fully charge in one-tenth of an hour or six minutes. Every second adds about two kilometers of range. You may not know that to charge a battery in five minutes, the charger needs to provide extremely high voltage and a massive current at the same time. However, high currents, in particular, pose a problem for the battery as they tend to generate heat which can be damaging. BYD has stated that they have worked on reducing the internal resistance of the new battery, allowing for the highest charging speeds for any type of production vehicle. To handle the high voltage, BYD also had to develop a new generation of silicon carbide power chips. So why does BYD claim that the Blade battery will redefine the safety standards for EVs? In terms of safety, as we mentioned earlier and as you've seen from the tests with BYD's Blade battery, it has passed extreme tests such as crushing, bending, and piercing, yet it still doesn't catch fire. With surface temperatures only reaching between 30 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. As we know, compared to traditional cylindrical battery cells, the blade battery uses a stacking process. The current density of the stacked structure is more uniform. The internal heat dissipation performance is better, and it is more suitable for high power discharge. Therefore, the blade battery has better cycle characteristics, safety features, and energy density. On the other hand, data shows that the self-ignition temperature of NMC is 200 degrees Celsius, meaning that when this temperature is reached, the three components of the battery material begin to melt and ignite, leading to an explosion. The self-ignition temperature of the new blade battery is 500 to 800 degrees Celsius. The blade battery is also safer due to its use of a high-temperature ceramic coating which provides excellent heat resistance and insulation performance in key components to enhance safety. Currently, lithium iron phosphate or NMC batteries for cars in China have a cycle life of about 3,000 cycles in laboratory tests. In real-world use, they can last at least 2,000 cycles. With its large-size stacking technology and comprehensive high-temperature ceramic battery technology, the new blade battery's cycle life exceeds 5,000 cycles, and the degradation after more than 5,000 cycles is less than 20%. Therefore, the blade battery will have a cycle life three times longer than NMC batteries, which typically last between 500,000 and 1 million kilometers. Now make a comparison between BYD blade battery versus Tesla 4680 battery. When comparing energy density, the Tesla 4680 battery clearly stands out. With the ability to reach 300 watt-hours per kilogram, the Tesla 4680 provides significantly superior energy density compared to the Blade battery, which is limited to 190 watt-hours per kilogram. This means Tesla can store more energy in the same amount of battery mass, allowing the vehicle to travel farther without increasing weight, particularly with the Cybertruck, which is already heavy due to its stainless steel body. The 4680 battery not only helps increase the driving range, but also reduces the overall weight, optimizing the vehicle's performance without compromising too much on technology. This shows that the Tesla 4680 has a clear advantage in terms of energy density, providing greater efficiency and range. However, BYD Blade battery excels in safety and cycle life, making it ideal for applications where longevity and resilience under harsh conditions are key priorities. The Tesla 4680 stands out for its energy storage capacity and performance optimization.
while the blade battery shines with its durability and high safety standards. Both have their strengths depending on the needs of the vehicle and the market. However, when it comes to charging time, the 4680 battery still cannot keep up with the blade battery. Based on current information, charging a Cybertruck with the 4680 battery from 10% to 80% takes around 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the charging power. While this is not an excessively long time, it still seems to fall short compared to the impressive performance of the blade battery, which can be charged in just five minutes. In terms of safety, we believe that both battery types offer high levels of safety for users. Although the Tesla 4680 battery has not undergone as many real-world tests as the Blade battery, its tabless design and integrated temperature control technology promise better performance in harsh usage environments. This is evident from the many Cybertruck accidents over the past year, with no recorded incidents of the 4680 battery catching fire or exploding. Additionally, there is the factor of cost and production, but from our perspective, these two types of batteries offer different benefits and suitability. Simply put, the 4680 battery may help electric vehicles achieve longer ranges, but it takes more time to charge fully. On the other hand, the blade battery may have a shorter range, but it charges incredibly fast. For many years, Tesla has set the standard for electric vehicles, attracting the market with its sleek designs and groundbreaking technology. However, it is clear that the market landscape has changed, and now even a giant like Tesla can be vulnerable if a competitor releases a product that excels in every aspect. Many people believe that the Model Y is Tesla's only true success, as it is a well-rounded SUV in every way, and it's no coincidence that it has consistently been the best-selling vehicle in the world. Yeah, it has been very successful in the eyes of consumers, but that doesn't mean it will continue to sell well forever, even after being refreshed. Simply put, the battery technology inside the Model Y is still not the 4680. It's still using the traditional LFP battery pack. While it has many advantages and was once revolutionary, it now faces the risk of becoming outdated as competitors continuously improve battery technology and integrate it into their electric vehicles. The BYD Han L is a sedan about the same size as the Tesla Model S measuring around 5,050 millimeters in length with a wheelbase of about 3 meters, quite spacious inside. But what's remarkable is that it uses a 1,000-volt EV platform, currently the highest in the world. With the integration of BYD's new blade battery, the standard version has an 83.2 kilowatt-hour lithium iron phosphate battery, offering a range of 701 kilometers based on China light truck cycle standards, or about 580 kilometers according to World Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure Standards. Most importantly, 10. See fast charging as BYD confirms can add 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes, almost on par with a gasoline-powered car. The Tang L SUV is the SUV version of the Han L. It has seven seats, two in the front, three in the middle, and two in the back with the same length as the Han L but offering more space thanks to its SUV design. Right now, this is the fastest charging electric vehicle you can buy in the world. And the fact is, it comes at a price that reflects its luxury, as evident just by looking at the interior. It's really beautiful. BYD has done an excellent job with the interior, surpassing many previous models. We was shocked by this, shocked because it's so good, but maybe we shouldn't be surprised. BYD has clearly worked very hard to develop this new platform. We think we will see many more BYD models using this platform. More importantly, we think we will see many models using BYD's new version of the Blade battery. There are two new versions of the Blade, one for ultra-fast charging like the model today, and another with extremely high energy density for long-range driving. The model today uses the ultra-fast charging version. Some future models will use the long-range Blade battery and BYD claims that the higher energy density version is expected to allow pure electric vehicles to exceed 1,000 kilometers of range and deliver the highest LFP performance. Imagine stopping at a charging station and fully charging your vehicle in just a few minutes instead of several hours, while enjoying a driving range that surpasses even today's electric vehicle models. This is not science fiction. It's the next step in electric vehicle technology. However, everything comes with challenges during the initial stages. According to analysts, 
The most obvious initial challenge of the new generation blade battery is cost. We all know that almost any new electric technology increases vehicle production costs at the outset, although the fast charging speed might make these vehicles more attractive to those who are worried about range. Another major issue will be energy costs. Faster charging will cost more because it requires more electricity. This demands expensive connections to the grid, meaning that the fastest chargers will come with a higher price tag. Moreover, it is still unclear how such fast charging might affect the battery, which will degrade over time. In current technology, frequent fast charging tends to reduce the overall range of the vehicle. Will this battery technology become widely adopted soon? No, or at least not anytime soon. Premium automakers will struggle to catch up with BYD, but in the mass market most of the focus is on reducing battery costs rather than aiming for the most advanced types. Many drivers, especially those with home chargers, rarely need to charge at public stations, except for occasional long road trips. Otherwise, they can charge overnight when energy prices are lowest. When hearing real-world reports about this battery technology, we wonder, why would you buy a gasoline car when you could own a vehicle that can go 300 miles in just five minutes? With charging speeds like this, you could fully charge in five minutes. While there may not be a 1,000 kilowatt charger near your home yet, we guarantee they are coming soon, as reports confirm that 450 kilowatt chargers are already being deployed in Australia, and even 1,000 kilowatt charging is in the works. Industry experts have started questioning whether Tesla's current 4680 battery architecture can withstand the wave of new designs from BYD. The 4680 has been a key part of Tesla's success, but if it's only used for the Cybertruck, Model Y could soon become less relevant as BYD ramps up production of its groundbreaking blade battery, and the competitive balance may shift significantly. Tesla has benefited from its pioneer status, but in a market that thrives on constant innovation, being first is no longer enough, especially when BYD has surpassed Tesla in the past year. Think about it simply. If a battery can charge in just a few minutes and dramatically expand driving range, the entire value proposition of owning a Tesla changes. Now, it's not just about performance. It's about keeping up with a new technological advancement that promises better efficiency, affordability, and reliability. The big question is not whether BYD's battery is better, but whether Tesla will be quick and visionary enough to maintain its lead.